welcome. In this short uh, video lecture, we are going to discuss how to apply Laplace and inverse Laplace transforms to solve a differential equation. So my name is Vincent Nando. I'm teaching mathematics at the School of Engineering. So here is the problem. So we are to find the solution of the initial value problem of the differential equation uh, y double prime plus 4y prime minus 5y equals to t e raised power t with initial conditions uh, y at 0 is 1 and y prime at 0 is uh, 0. So this problem uh, requires that you understand how to rewrite derivatives of functions in terms of Laplace transforms. So uh, that's the first thing that you're going to do. So solution. First note that. Uh, Laplace transform of the first derivative is given by uh, S capital Y of S and then minus y at zero and then Laplace transform of the second derivative of the function y is given by s squared and then capital y of s and then minus s y of zero minus y prime at zero so this is by definition so therefore now, uh, uh, whereby, so where this capital Y of S is the Laplace transform of the function Y of T. So this uh, is this what you have. So what you're going to do, you're going to, reply, uh, to uh, supply Laplace transform on both sides of this differential equation to get a uh, Laplace transform of y double prime plus Laplace transform of four y prime minus Laplace transform. Remember Laplace transform is a linear operator. That's why I'm supplying it to each of the terms, five y, and then equals to Laplace transform of t e raised power t. And then this one, from what you have uh, stated here, we have uh, s squared y prime of, uh, y of s minus, and then because we know the value of y at zero to be one, so this just be minus s. And then because the value of y prime at zero is zero, so then we don't have to write that. And then so we have dealt with this part, and then plus I can factor out four. Laplace transform of y prime is s y of s, and then Laplace trans, uh, y at zero is one. So I write one, and then minus five Laplace transform of y is capital Y equals two. And then this Laplace transform of t e raised power t is given by one over s minus one squared. This is a standard uh, function which uh, whose Laplace transform is going to be this. So uh, once we have this one, so uh, let's open brackets and see collect terms with y's together. So we'll have s squared y of s minus s plus four s y of s minus four equals uh, minus five y of s is given by one over s minus one squared. So which tells us that now uh, can bring these terms with s together. So we say s squared plus four s and then minus five and then all this will be coefficient of capital Y of S 
and then minus s minus four equals to one over s minus one squared. So we can say um, s squared plus four s minus five y of s equals two. So take this to the right hand side. So we have one over s minus one squared plus s plus four. So uh, this, all this like over one, so we can put under one LCM, so one minus s squared. So one plus s minus one squared into s plus four, which will give us uh, s squared plus four s minus five capital Y of S equals to, so uh, this is the same, uh, same thing as one plus, so squaring this one, so we have S squared minus two S plus one, multiplied by S plus four over S minus one squared, now, uh, this is the same as S minus one squared, one plus. So this will give me S cubed minus two S squared plus S plus four S squared minus H S plus four. So S squared plus four S minus five, capital Y of S equals to LCM, uh, the denominator is S minus one squared. So, so one plus four is five. So we have S cubed. So minus two plus four is two. So plus two S squared and then minus eight plus one is minus seven s and then plus five one plus four is five so um this would be the same as now uh we have y of s will be given by now we divide through by this so s cubed plus two s squared minus seven s plus five over s squared plus four s minus five. And then this is s minus one squared. So um, you realize that so uh, this cubic uh, expression s plus two s squared minus seven s plus five. And then you have this term here, s squared uh, plus four s minus five. Uh, for this quadratic product is minus five, sum is four numbers will give you minus one minus four. So this can be written as s squared minus s minus four s uh, so uh, S minus, so uh, this would be five. So numbers would be minus one and five. So this is five and then minus five. So common here is S into S minus one plus five into S minus one. So factors would be five plus S plus five and S minus one. So it tells us that y of s can be written as s plus five and then s minus uh, one. So this one, uh, this and this one should be power three. And then here we have s cubed plus two s squared <coughs> minus seven s and then plus five. 
So then now uh, to get the value of y of t, then we get the inverse Laplace transform on both sides. So, uh, or even before doing that one, we can actually decompose this one into partial fraction. So then we say y of s is the same as s cubed plus two s squared minus seven s plus five divided by s plus five and then s minus one cubed. So this in partial fractions can be written as a over s plus five plus b over s minus one plus c over s minus one squared and then plus b s minus one or three. So this is how uh, we write as partial fractions if this is the structure of the denominator. So uh, we need now to solve for these values here. So um, we have y of s will be given by, so LCM remains to be s plus five into s minus one cubed. So I'll have a into s minus one cubed plus b into s, uh, plus five, and then, uh, so uh, S minus one squared, and then plus C, S plus five into S minus one, and then plus B, S plus five, so that's what we have. I remember this must be the same as what we have here. So uh, to find the values of A, B, and C, so then say A into S minus one power three plus B into S plus five into S minus one squared. Uh, then plus C into S plus five into S minus one, then plus D into S plus five must be equivalent to this numerator here, S cubed plus two S squared minus seven S plus five. So when I set uh, S to be one, then this I'll get zero. And uh, then I'll have 6b. This will also, uh, so this will still be zero because uh, I'll not have, I have a s minus one there. So setting s to be one, this term will be zero, this will be zero, this will be zero, but this will be now 6d equals to one cubed plus two into one squared minus seven into one plus five. So one plus two minus seven plus five. So one plus two is three plus this one. So this will give us one. So therefore six D is given by one, which means D equals to one over six. And then, uh, so that's what you have. So D one over six. Uh, so to get, because this now we have factors of uh, S minus one, S minus one in each of the terms. So then we'll be forced to expand, expand uh, this one so that we have S cubed uh, minus three S, uh, plus three, three S squared plus three S minus one multiplied by A and then plus, so this will be B S plus five B into S squared minus two S plus one, then open and then plus uh, C S plus five C 
uh, multiplied by s minus one also open. And then actually you can even, this I've already got in s one. So uh, one over six s plus five over six. And then you equate it to s cubed plus two s squared uh, minus seven s and then plus five. And then after opening the bracket, then you'll be comparing the coefficients of uh, the cubed terms. Uh, like for this case, we'll have a s cubed, and then you'll also get an s power three here. So it's like a plus a plus b, So have a, so this S cubed will be here and then position this will have plus B. I will not have an S cubed at this point here. So uh, then S cubed plus those for S squared. So we'll have minus three A. And then here, uh, this term by uh, this term I'll have minus 2b and also this but this one will give me plus 5b and then um, s another s squared here will have plus c because this will be c s times s so then this will be s squared then plus terms with s will have three a and then this by this one will give us plus b minus two by five is ten b and then um, here we have minus c and then plus five c and then here i have plus one over six s and then plus constant terms i'll have minus a and then this other bracket i'll have uh, plus 5b and then here i'll have minus 5c here i have plus 5 over 6 and then uh, equals to s cubed uh, plus 2s squared plus a uh, minus seven minus seven s seven s and then constant was plus five so they will get some system of equations here so we have a plus b equals to coefficient of s squared here is one then we have minus three a uh, this b plus uh, 3b plus c equals to 2. And then another one will be 3a. This will be minus 7b plus 4c plus 1 over 6. You get coefficient is minus 7. And then minus a plus 5b minus 5c plus 5 over 6. The constant on the other side is 5. So uh, calling this equation one, calling this one equation two, calling this one equation three, calling this one equation four, then you solve them, uh, solve that system in A, B, C. And when you do that one correctly, you should find that A will be given by 35 over 216. B will be given by 181 over 216. C will be given by minus one over 36 and D as we have found is one over six. So therefore going back, we have our Y of S equals to 35 over 216 into one over S plus five and then plus 181, which was B over 216 uh, times one over S minus one 
and then minus one over 36, which will C into one over S minus one squared, and then plus. So remember, I saw that I just have uniformity, I can write this one as one over 12, and then I put here two S minus one cubed. So remember writing this one still uh, tells me that the value of this one over six. So why uh, applying inverse Laplace transform on both sides, uh, we get, so, inverse Laplace of y of s, which will be y of t. Now, inverse Laplace of this one will give us 35 over 216. So the inverse of this one will give me e raised to the power minus 5t with a standard one. And then plus 181, 216. This is also another standard, uh, which will give you one uh, e raised to the power minus t. Next one will be minus one over 36, e raised power uh, t, e raised power t. This is also another standard uh, Laplace transform. And then plus one over 12, t squared, e raised power t. So the reason as to why we put, we wrote uh, six as two over 12 is just to have the standard Laplace transform of t squared, e raised power t. So therefore, this is the final solution to the problem. So that is how we're supposed to solve that. Uh, thank you.